Hello everyone, I'm the Waffle Syrup, and welcome back to another episode of Colony Survival. So between episodes I left our money, uh, money, food, to go up a bit, and while I was doing so I designed a few things. So first of all, this house, I'm thinking, we need houses, we can't just leave all the beds around, so this house can hold 37 beds I think. I was thinking we could build them all the way along this, maybe leave a few spaces between a few of them, so we could walk around and just have the beds in a slightly nicer looking area. Uh, the roof looks a bit flat because there's going to be the actual ceiling on top of it for the next floor. So that's the max height I can go for. My other idea was possibly build stuff outside the wall because we have a lot of space. So what? there's two possibilities. One, we could build buildings and then have underground passages into our base. Or we could like wall it off um, slightly with a smaller wall and have houses and crafting areas outside. Might look nice, so... Just let me know what you think about that. Other thing I did, um, I reset all the jobs we have to put back, so we have 19 jobs to reset, but I also lit up down here, because it was very dark. Um, so it's not perfectly lit up, I should probably put torches on the paths like this, but it looks kind of ugly, so I'm not going to. Um, so there you go. So first things first, we're going to need to recruit a few more people, because we want to start rebuilding the population. So let's recruit, it's like 30,000 a piece, let's recruit a few until it's... There you go, now the food's red, so we're going to stop recruiting and then just keep on waiting. So first things first, now, it's the second thing. Anyway, if I ascend quickly, I think the thing to do now is going to be build a few more houses. So I'm going to have two connected, then probably a space and two more connected. So I'm going to build another one of these. And I'll be back when I've done that. Oh yeah, the reason I'm putting blocks behind here like this is because I didn't want the doors to look really ugly with all the beds, but then I realised I have windows which show you all the beds anyway, so um, I could remove those. But at the same time I like the door not just going into bed straight away. So I'm going to leave it like that for now, but it might change in a later. Yeah, let me know what you think, but I'm going to leave it like that until then. Okay, I'm just finishing up the roof, which unfortunately will look flat again, but not much I can do about it. Um, so it's wooden inside and this on the outside. It's kind of a waste of resource, really, because most of this is going to be covered up later, but then he killed me again. We have two houses here, so we can try and take out as many beds as possible from downstairs, because I really don't like them downstairs. This is a nice way of having them, so let's go remove some beds. Okay, the fun part now. Removing all the ugly stuff. We can move all the way up to 140 beds. Yeah. Might remove a couple extras just to finish the slime off, but... There you go. That should be good for building the next house. But these paths look much nicer when they're not covered in beds. We only have these beds left, so probably two houses. Maybe three. And oh, we can recruit a few more people. I'm just making sure every time I recruit someone that our food... Oh, never mind, it's orange now. We need happiness. Although I have set up everything so they'll be happier when they all recruit it. It's just we don't have enough people to work at all the things. If we look here, I think everything's being supplied. Might be able to increase something. We still have a lot of these. I'm going to add a bit more fish. And a bit more bread. Re remove a bit of berries. Because I don't think you get more for... G Although they, that was 100% availability, so I don't want to take it down from 100%. At one point, I'd like everything to be 100%. Okay, time to recruit a few more people. One, two, three more. Let's do five more. I feel confident. So, anyway, I've planned it. <laughs> I've laid out all the houses. This one will have the door to the side. This will be the wall here. Just because it's going to have to be one short end. There's another house here, and it's just, yeah, it doesn't fit in. The end one over there also has one block shorter. Although the door is into that one, but yeah. This is one block shorter, so we still have a two-wide path. 
So there's space to build all these houses. I might build them all and fill them all with beds. I doubt we're gonna use them all up yet, but I'd rather have them and not need them than not have them. This does mean that then, then we'll be able to build up and not worry about beds for quite a while. So I'm gonna start building a few of them and keep on going, I guess. I think there's a, a zombie at the banner. We need really to put a guard near that banner. Okay, he's died, but... Just lost two more colonists. That's annoying. I think we need more daytime guards. I'm gonna put the job in. Oh yeah, I'm not crossbowmen. I haven't placed any in yet, but... Let's put a couple of daytime arches down here. Um, I don't know when we'll be able to recruit them, but when we will, we'll have them in. Okay. I need, still need 14 more people. It's going to be an issue, but... Anyway, the houses. Let me show you. We have a whole line of houses done. Um, just need the beds in. And we should have an absurd amount of beds because of, yeah, absurd amount of beds. So let's start with these backwards ones. Then all the others go this. Oh, actually, I forgot the ones over there. And then how I do the rest of it is they all go this way. And I'll do the same thing for the other one, except the other one is slightly different because yeah, it's. Slightly backwards. And then I just place all these ones in. So I'll just go and get the beds from downstairs and do the same thing up here. Every single bed down here has been cleared out. I just need to place a few more upstairs. Those nighttime guards aren't too happy, but... They're going to move down and sleep in the mine, apparently. They can do that they want. I forgot there's beds down there. So I'm going to place a few more beds up in the house. And we should be pretty much good on beds for quite a while. I'm still going to leave beds down in the mine just because it's the most effective place for all the miners to sleep. And I hope there's a window or glass block at some point because I don't like all these people walking through the window. Leave that one clear just so people can still walk in reasonably well. Doesn't really change anything but I just prefer it that way. There we go, 167 beds in uh, four houses. Still need to build one, two, wait, one, two, three more. So there you go. Let's recruit a couple more people while we're here. Oh, actually, the happiness is terrible. We'll do it later. I just saw this and I thought it was funny. No, cook fish. Swimming <laughs> capability are dramatically reduced. Um, cooked lobster, not so dominant there, not so dominant right now. Cake, the meme is dead. Um, luxury food, sign of civilization. Perpetual stew, truly medieval. Have a bit more. I might. Uh, I don't know. I won't risk it yet. I can hear fighting downstairs. But yeah, there's. It's kind of funny. These don't have anything yet. Most of them. Useful in Russian deadline. Coffee. Deadlines. Um, let's see. Dividing on here shouldn't be an issue currently. Now we have a lot of guard stuff doesn't even get close. Which is exactly what I want to see. Okay, we can relax. Well, not really, but we still need to work up to everything else. But we can relax a bit. Hopefully. I've just had an idea. It might be a, ter a terrible idea, it might be a very good idea. Because we need to recruit quite a few people. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set. So, are they currently at? Uh, we're going to stockpile a lot of stuff, and then for one day we'll be able to give them everything they like. But just for that one day, in large quantities. 
and that should mean their happiness should be really high for one day, really low for the rest of the days. But that one day would be able to recruit all the missing people. So happiness is going to be terrible for a while, but eh, we can deal with that. It's quite impressive just watching them stream though. Just from the side of the walls, you can just see them walking in. Quite a few of them. One day we're going to have to add guards on these walls, but not today. We have to fix the economy, then we can start thinking about better defences and more effe efficient ways of doing this. Although now I say that aloud, it sounds a bit dumb, because we should probably be working on efficiency before, but... Crossbowmen. We have cross... What Do we have what we need to make crossbowmen? Because if we do, we might as well just... We have crossbows. We have crossbow bots. Okay, I'm going to quickly go downstairs, go to the crafting. So who makes the crossbow bots? Probably you. Yes, so currently it's maxed at 50. And that's my... So let's change that to 10. Let's change that to like 500. I, I like having 5 of every um, crafting bench. That's useless, let's make 5 of them anyway. So five of these. Um, yeah, but now what we'll be able to do is when we get the happiness boost and we're going to add more people, uh, we might add two crossbowmen at the top, maybe more. Depends how much uh, food we have at, at that point, but uh, Monster killed one of your colonists with job beekeeper. How did he kill a beekeeper? Stop killing my beekeepers and where are my beekeepers and how are you killing them? Where is that zombie? Where is he? Is it dead? How did he kill two of my beekeepers? What were my beekeepers doing anywhere near a zombie? Very confused. My closest beekeeper is all the way over there. That is confusing. Oh no wait, there's one here. But he's still alive. You're the beekeeper, aren't you? That one needs nothing. That one needs nothing. Why are you... Why would you ever stop making them, man? Is there limited inventory space? I don't see why I wouldn't. Go ahead. Make a lot of everything. I just realized we're not stockpiling candles and stuff. We can probably give them a lot more candles, make them much happier. Cancel my last idea. I'm going to give them a load of candles. Okay, they had quite a bit of fish. Some of that, some of that, some of that. If we're not stockpiling everything, I'm not going to go through all crafting recipes and max it out. So hopefully within a bit they'll all be happy. And then I'm just going to recruit everyone if I can. 16. If I can get it down to 20,000, I'll be th 320. Yeah, 320,000. I can spend up to 400,000. That, that should be reasonable. Okay. Let's just wait for the happiness to go up. And I'll be back when that happens. Happiness is quickly increasing. I'm just not even going to wait. I'm just going to put one crossbow in here. One crossbowman here, and one last job. It'd probably be a crossbowman as well, just because we can. I'll put cross crossbowman to defend the inside of our castle. So if someone does end up coming in, they can get killed by the crossbowman. And I can put two. We'll probably afford it soon. How much would it cost to recruit someone now? Sixteen thousand. Let's wait a bit. See if we can get a tiny bit higher. If we can, I'm going to quickly recruit as many people as possible. Uh, one. One more person collects stuff from the shop, and we should have better happiness. Maybe. A couple more people from the shop, then. No. Okay, I'm just going to do it now. Can I recruit to fill all jobs? Let's do it one at a time. I don't want to end up collapsing my economy again. I want to keep one day worth of food. Maybe a bit less. It's the middle of the day. We're fine.
We have no food left. I think we're still fine. I think we'll be fine with that. Okay. Let's hope so anyway, because if we're not, we uh, might have killed the colony. But I think we should make enough food during the day to fill that up. And not let us die. Hopefully. Although I'm not sure, because we do have a lot more coins than we did earlier. If we all die, it's my fault. Mostly because I'm the only one playing, so who else's fault would it be? Oh, I think that may have been a mistake. Well, can't do anything about it now. But now we have two more guards up here. We don't have the indoor guard yet, but... It should be fine. How can I make more... How can I help them with food? Because I don't want everyone to starve. They'll be fine. I'm going to trust them to do what they're meant to do. You guys are done, apparently. Uh, what else may I need? Honestly, they don't have much more to make. Oh, these make people happy. Make a hundred of these. They're for happiness. We need more beeswax. Uh, oh, yes. I may have made this a bit too extreme. Let's just... Let's just do it like this. Please don't be going to bed yet. We don't have enough food to last the night. I may have messed up. Well... Not much I can do about it. Night is falling and at this point I can just hope that people don't use food during the night because we don't have half a day of food for it to last the entire night. So hopefully a few might start tomorrow morning but not too bad. We have a bit of food. It's not too bad. I kind of want to see the crossbowmen there at the top. How effective are you guys? Because we don't have that many crossbow bots yet. But if they can one-hit kill all like normal and green zombies, that would be good. So red zombie over there. How far can you shoot? Come on. When will you shoot? That's quite a distance. You still shoot very, very slowly there. Although they are doing a very large amount of damage to those red zombies. And they w they do one hit kill the green ones. I think. And that's why for you to shoot again. Yeah, there's a one hit kill to the greens. Okay, they're, they're definitely worth it. I'm looking at the food, it's not changing. So I think we might be fine. Oh, we might starve all our people to death. One or the two. I mean... That's fine. I could lower how many calories I give them. It'll make them all miserable. But it might save us. I'll just give them like 1,500 calories a day. Uh, right. Less birds, less berries. There you go. We're going to starve you all to death manually. <laughs> in here is going absolutely fine. Look at that. Well, if we don't starve to death, I made the right call. If we do starve to death, I made a slight mistake. Day has started, we can see the food storage starting to collapse. But... Yeah, if all of these try to get food at the same time, it's not going to go well. So hopefully they don't all need food in the morning. Because if they do all need food in the morning. We're going to lose. Oh look. Canary use has just gone down. Because I restricted them to strict the diet. They're not all going for food straight away. Which is a really reassuring sign. They just need to cook some more food. And get some more food ready. Before they start eating it. And we will survive. Also people are miserable. That's a lot of people going for food. Actually, that's only one guy. Never mind. I thought that was more. We're fine. The food's going up. No, it's going down. Well, I think we're okay. We might be okay. Okay, I'm going to be back in a few minutes later this day. See if we caught up with the food. And yeah. Our people are very miserable. 
However, the food is catching up and has that cliff been there the entire time because it looks really cool. And I had never realised it was there. But yeah, the food's catching up and everything's going fine. So I think I'll end the episode here, so I hope you all enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, make sure to tell me what you think about houses and buildings outside the wall over in the green area here. If we should wall it off or make underground tunnels or just not do it at all. So let me know about that. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.